Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So already seven problems I've completed on capital budgeting, investment decisions. This is the fourth unit in financial decision making too. There are different techniques for evaluation of capital budgeting proposals. Whether to invest in a capital project or not. So before making the investment, there are many tools and techniques available to the finance manager to evaluate whether it will be beneficial to make the investment or not. So modern uh, traditional techniques are to payback period and ARR average rate of return and modern techniques are net present value NPV profitability index PI internal rate of return IRR. So far seven problems have completed in this video I am going to cover up the next from eighth problem onwards. If you want the perfect knowledge, first of all, be thorough regarding the concept, the meaning, importance of capital budgeting and what are the different techniques available in capital budgeting. Each technique you have to understand the procedure. Now, if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject financial decision making too, select the videos of capital budgeting. Be perfect and then you can be able to understand. And always keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready before watching the video. Everything, whatever I'm explaining about the formulas, about the procedure, you should note it down. And always take a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the eighth problem, <clears throat> problem number eight. An investment project requires an initial investment of 54,000. Initial investment means PV of cash outflow, present value of cash outflow, 54,000. And is expected to generate cash inflows of 15,000, 22,000, 30,000, 24,000, 18,000, 12,000 from year one to six. That means the life of the project is six years. Every year, different cash inflows are given. The required cost of capital for the firm is 12%. So discounting factor is 12%, the cost of capital. Find the NPV and PI of the project. Very easy project, straightforward project. Net present value and profitability index. These two we have to find out. Remember the formula NPV is equal to PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow. And PI, profitability index is equal to PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow. That's it. Outflow is given in the problem. Inflows are given. We have to discount it by using the PV factors. Calculation of NPV PA. Year column, cash inflows given in the problem for every year, for six years. Then discounting factor 12%. It is given in the problem, the cost of capital 12%. So for finding out the PV factors, you can refer the table, PV factors table, it will be given in every textbook, end of the book, you will find this PV factor. So 12%, under the column 12% against first year, second year, third year, it is given 0 0.893, 797712636567507 or else you can find out the PV factors by using the calculator, simple calculator. The formula already I told you in the previous videos how to find out the PV factors by using simple calculator if you don't have the table. The percentage is 12%. 12% means 0 0.12. So 1 divided by 1.12. So 1 divided by 1.12 is equal to 0 0.893. You can see 0.893. Now, second year, if you want, simply plus is equal to 797, second year over. Third year, again is equal to, third year, again is equal to, fourth year, again is equal to, fifth year, again is equal to, sixth year, 507. So, with the help of calculator, you can calculate 1 divided by 1.12. That's it. So, we have calculated the PV factors. Multiply the cash inflow with PV factor. 15,000 into 0 0.893, 13,395. 
Similarly, multiply all cash inflows with PV factors, we get present value of cash inflows. Add up. The total present value of cash inflow is 83,843. Present value of cash outflow that is given in the problem 54,000. Now, easily we can find out NPV. Net present value is equal to PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow. PV of cash inflow 83,843 minus 54,000. You will get 29,843. It's positive. NPV is positive. That means project is good. We suggest the company to accept this project because the present net present value is positive. Profitability index. The formula is PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow 83,843 divided by 54,000. 1.55. Again, according to PI criteria, if it is more than one, accept. If it is less than one, reject. Now here 1.55, more than one, accept the project. That's all. So this is the eighth problem. Now ninth problem I am reading out. An investment project requires an initial investment of 65,000 cash outflow and is expected to generate 15,000 per annum for eight years. The difference between this problem and the previous problem. Previous problem annual cash inflows are fluctuating. 15, 22, 30, 24, 18, 12 all fluctuating. That's why we have to make the table to calculate PV of cash inflow. But if the annual cash inflows are constant, we can make the table or we can use the formula. Formula means simply by substituting in the formula, we can get the PV of cash inflow. Otherwise, we have to make the table for eight years. It's a lengthy process. So here I'm showing by using the formula, how to calculate the present value of cash inflow. 15,000 per annum for 8 years. The cost of capital for the firm is 8%. Find the NPV and PI of the project. Same. Net present value and profitability index we have to find out. But the difference is the cash inflows are constant right now. So here, since annual cash inflows are constant, so we can find the PV of cash inflow by using the following formula. What is the formula? PV of cash inflow is equal to annual constant cash inflow annual constant cash inflow 15,000 into PVAF stands for present value of annuity factor present value of annuity factor at the rate of 8% given in the problem for how many years 8 years so we need annuity factor for 8% against 8 years 5.747 if you refer the table two tables are there Present value of rupee one table and present value of annuity. So annuity table eight percent under the column eight percent against eight years. Against eight years. So eight years eight percent you will find five point seven four seven. So five point seven four seven. Multiply this, you will get eighty six thousand two not five. Now. We can, you, we can find out the PV of annuity factor on calculator also. On the calculator also, we can find out the PV of annuity factor. How? What is the percentage here? 8%. 8% 8 percent. 8 percent means 0 0.08. So 1 divided by 1.08. So how you have to take? <coughs> because the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power of N. This is the formula for calculating. The PV factors. So 1 divided by 1 plus R is 0 0.08. R is 0 0.08 for first year, one year. Second year will take two. Third year, three. Like that. So 1 divided by 1.08. So what I am doing on my calculator, 1 divided by 1.08 is equal to 0 0.9259. This is the value. This is the first year. Now keep this value in the memory. M plus. So I am putting this in M plus. Then is equal to second year. Again M plus. Two years. Again is equal to M plus three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times I have put the values in memory. Eight times. First year, second year, third year. Now simply recall the memory. MRC button is there. Press MR. 
got it 5.747 so even if you don't have the I mean table you can use the simple calculator to find out the PV of annuity factors now PV, NPV is equal to PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow the PV of cash inflow 86,205 PV of cash outflow 65,000 given in the problem 21,205 that is the NPV positive good project acceptable project then profitability index PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow 86,205 divided by 65,000 1.33 project is good because PI is more than 1 that's it and one more thing if you are not comfortable with this formula then you make the table table for 8 years you write uh, up to 8 years you go cash inflows 15,000 every year you take 15,000 every year then PV of rupee 1 at 8% here you take 8% then for 8% what are the values first table for first year second year third year you take all the values multiply again you will get 86,805 that's it so 9 problems have completed now I am moving on to 10th problem see the problem number 10 a limited company is considering investing in a project requiring a capital outlay of rupees 1 lakh capital outlay means cash outflow 1 lakh the annual cash flows are given below first year 30,000 second year 20,000 third year 25 fourth year 25 fifth year 30 fluctuating then we have to make the table only we cannot use the formula then you are required to calculate the project according to NPV and PI at the cost of capital of 10% the PV factors 10% and suggest which project is accepted whether the project is accepted or not so after calculating the NPV and PI you have to give the conclusion whether the project is acceptable or not acceptable right now calculation of NPV year 5 years cash inflows are given in the problem 10% 10% again you can refer the table in the table PV of rupee 1 10% First year 0.909826751683621. So we have taken here all PV factors. Multiply cash inflow with PV factor, you'll get PV of cash inflow. Take the total. The PV of cash inflow 98,270. And the PV of cash outflow is given in the problem 1 lakh. NPV. PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow 98,270 minus 1 lakh minus 1,730. The first two, two problems we have seen NPV positive and in this problem NPV is negative, reject it, project is not good. Profitability index, PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow 98,270 divided by 1 lakh 0 0.98, reject because it is less than 1. If it is more than 1, accept. If it is less than 1, reject. This is less than 1. So conclusion, the project should not be accepted because NPV is negative, PI is less than 1. That's it. Now one more problem, 11th problem I am going to explain you. See the problem number 11. A company is considering an investment proposal to install a new milling controls. The project will cost 50,000 cash outflow, 50,000. The facility has a life expectancy of 5 years and no salvage. The estimated cash flows after tax CFAT from the proposed investment proposal are as follows KE that is cost of capital 10% per annum. Year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 CFAT 20,000, 21, 14, 15, 25 fluctuating. So we have to make the table to find out the PV of cash inflow. Compute the net present value profitability index at 10% exactly same in this video all the problems are NPV and PI in the next coming video the problem will be on IRR so three problems I will do inshallah on IRR now calculation of NPV and PI year 12345 cash inflow CFAT is given in the problem 10% discount rate here already we have calculated 0 0.909 0 0.826 0 0.7516836261 Multiply cash inflow with PV factors, you will get PV of cash inflow. Total 71,810. So PV of cash outflow is 50,000. Now net present value NPV, PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow. 71,810 minus 20,000, 21,810 positive. Profitability index, PI. PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow, 71,810 divided by 50,000, 1.44. More than 1. So finally, we suggest to the company 
to accept this project because the NPV is positive and the PI is greater than 1. That's all. So totally 11 problems have completed on this capital budgeting. Few more problems will continue in the next video inshallah. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your groups, among your friends so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue with the next problem in the next video.